Hey guys, uh, this is Roman. Uh, just a real quick video of my little setup here for the spray painting. So I don't really have a place at home to spray paint, so I'm doing it in the garage. But I want to show you real quick what I came up with for a spray painting platform, basically. So what I got is, I actually bought from Walmart the uh, uh, trifold thing for like $2. And um, it's actually pretty big size. So what I did then is just I had a spare box and um, I just put it on top of the box and um, scotch taped it so it kind of holds the shape here and as you can see it actually has the angle so you can maybe lay you know like lay stuff at the angle if you need to it's pretty cool actually it work you know it seems like it's gonna work pretty well I haven't spray painted anything yet but all I needed is just some kind of platform so it doesn't you know paint doesn't go over and stuff and you can you know put it it's got like a masking tape here to quickly hold it and you know I think it'll be it'll be fine so what I have here is just from my pictures if you saw I have a fuselage that's already done but the thing that I was wondering about is this little text on the paper that I used as for scraps and what I'm gonna do now is I have this two different experimental fuselages and one I'm gonna do white first and another one I'm gonna go straight for red and the idea is uh, when it dries out the white first then I'm gonna do red again just to see if it covers that text and I'm gonna see the difference if red is enough to cover the text or not if it will be then I'm not gonna paint this fuselage white but then I'm gonna take this orange and I'm gonna lightly spray over the top to give it that, you know, a uh, little two-dimensional like gradient orange to red. All right, that's it. Stay tuned. Also, one more thing, um, I forgot to say, uh, I, I'm using, not using as for now, but uh, for people who are not gonna have uh, decals to do the whites, and who want to mask things out like Josh did for stripes and stuff. A lot of people use blue tape, which works really well. Uh, what I actually did, I ordered two different widths of the masking tape from Tape Brothers. And one is 1 8 inch, so it's really, if you want to get those fine lines, this is what I would use for stripes, because it gives you a little more choice of how wide you want your stripes to be. Yeah, or instead of cutting them out yourself, you know, they they have the one eighth, I think, quarter inch and inch and uh like two and a half inch or something. So this will work really well for those stripes. Okay. Alright, I'm doing the white first. I'm using Krylon indoor outdoor white gloss. So I'm doing the white first just to have more time for it to dry off before I do the second one that's red. And a good advice that I saw was to spray paint kind of 12, 14 inches away. And I like this solution I have because I can rotate it easy.
All right, on this second experimental fuselage, you see I have this black stripe of color here, and uh, I did it on purpose so that I want to see if it will cover this black. And also I have the text that doesn't have any white on it. So, and you can see it's a lot less glossy than the white version. That's because it doesn't have any paint on it yet. So, okay, I'm just gonna do red right now. I'll let it already dry and I'll do a second coat in about 20 minutes. Alright, I'm doing the second coat right now. Actually, it wasn't 20 minutes. I kept checking the paint and it dries pretty quick if you're doing it outside. Um, so it took about almost 15 minutes. So I'm, right now I'm doing the second coat. You can see there's still some black and text showing up. So. My hope is that there will be enough two, three maybe coats to cover it up, but if not then I'll go with the first method. And I don't know if you knew guys, but on the spray spray paint, uh, you see how the nozzle is like vertical, actually you can twist it and instead of the vertical spray it's going to do the horizontal spray which is kind of cool. So if you have the application for that, I might actually do that on top 
for my orange instead of doing the vertical one I'll do the horizontal one so for this one I'll just do the wide one which is the vertical one Alright, I got my uh, experimental fuselage painted with red. Uh, it came out pretty good. I have three coats so far. And because I used the scrap paper, you can kind of see still some text showing through. So on my other fuselage, I'm going to do white first, probably two coats, and then do red. Let's see, two, 
up to three coats and that should basically cover it pretty well so that's what we have it right now so now I'm gonna try to do a second color on top just to give a little gradient and I'm gonna use orange and the orange will just go on top of the red and I'll do light coats probably once maybe two coats and I'm actually gonna change my nozzle so it goes uh, horizontally like this so I'm gonna be spraying alone along the fuselage alright I'm doing orange and you can see um, I already put some on top and uh, for some reason it kinda looks like uh, green so what I do I just go along the, the, the top of the fuselage really light coats and then I'm gonna just wait 15 minutes maybe 10 minutes and yep, that's uh, that's how I would do a couple colors, and that's what I would do probably on my uh, main fuselage, and uh, I'll show it to you when it dries up. Thanks.